In this video, I want to show you how you can do examples of inverse uh, percentage um, without the calculator, and then I'll again use the calculator to get the answer. Okay, so in this diagram, and this in, on this screen, you can see this is a shoe. There was a discount of 12.5%, and this is a sale price. So I hope this is clear. Your sale price, when there is a discount, sale price is your full price, the original price, so let me call this the full price, minus the discount, minus the discount. This concept should be very clear. Okay. So there's a discount of 12.5%. Okay, so let me write discount. The information that we have is the discount is 12.5%. Now, if you know percentage of 12.5 is half of 25%. Okay, so 25% as a fraction, I hope you know, is one quarter. So you can say this as a uh, this as a fraction would be half of one quarter, which is one eighth. Okay. So in other words, you got a discount of one eighth of the price. So what are you, what are you paying? Okay. So sale price can we say if the discount is twelve point five percent, which is one eighth, sale price is seven eighth of the full price. 7 8 of the full price is your sale price. I hope you understand. If 1 8 is taken off, the remaining is 7 8. So, well, we can say here, yeah, propo uh, thinking proportionally, 7 8 of something is 218.75. You want to find 1 8, which will be the discount. And then if you add the discount to the sale price, you can get the full price. So what do I mean by that? Say, if I'm saying, so this this is an equation, sale prices, full price minus discount. So from this, you can understand, say, if you add from to the sale price, to the sale price, if you add the discount, if you add discount to the sale price, you're going backwards. So what we're saying is, this this minus this is equal to sale price okay so sale price plus discount gives you the full price sale price plus discount is equal to the full price so what we are saying is if this is if the discount is this is one eight so this should be seven eight this should be seven eight of the full price okay so if Okay, so let me delete this. I did some working before. So let me delete this. Okay. So yeah, 7, 8 is 218.75. So my purpose is to find 1, 8. So 1, 8 would be, how will you find 1, 8? Well, that is 218.75 divided by 7. I don't want to use the calculator. I want to show you how you can do this type of uh, tricky situations without the calculator. So it's very difficult to divide 218.75 by 7. So I'm going to split this or divide this into pieces which is easier for me to divide. So well, this is, I know 210. I'm taking 210 out of 218.75. So 210 divided by 7 is 30. Okay. And then I'm going to take 7 out of this 8. So 7 divided by 7 is 1. Then you got $1.75 divided by 7. Okay, again, that's difficult. So $1.75 is same as writing 175 cents. 175 cents divided by 30. So this is in cents. This is dollars. 175 cents divided by 7. Okay. So I'm showing you strategies where you can use so this is this I'm going to again split this into 140 cents 140 cents divided by 7 which is how much that is 20 cents and now you have got how many cents back left that is 35 cents 35 cents divided by 7 is 
5 cents. So this is cents, this is also cents. So this is 5 cents. So I can say this is 25 cents, which is 0 0.25. This is 0 0.25. So, so I can go backwards and write, this is $31.25. $31.25. So the discount, so we can say, well, the discount is $31.25, or 31.25, 31.25. So the full price, I'll write FP, the full price is 218.75 plus the discount, which is 31.25. So I'm lining up the decimals. So this is this is ten. This is ten. Remainder one. So this is two fifty dollars. This is two fifty dollars. So if we add them, so that is this is two hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. So this is the this is how you can do without the calculator. But let's think in a different way. So. The same problem can be done like this. Let the full price, let full price, let FP be equal to X. So a bit of algebra. Okay, so we can say full price FP minus discount minus discount is equal to the sale price is equal to SP. So we can say this is nothing but uh, x minus discount is how much? Discount is one eighth of x. Discount is one eighth of x is equal to your SP, which is 218.75. So this is x. You can also write this as a percent. So let me write this as a percent. Instead of one eighth, you can write 12.5 percent. 12.5 percent of x so this is i'm going to use a blue color so this is one lot of x so this is one x minus this when you write this as a person this is decimal this is 0 0.125 x of means x is equal to 218.75 so here you would you may need a calculator so this is one lot of x Take away 0 0.125 is 0 0.875 x. Or also think logically, if you take away 12.5 percent, what is remaining is 87.5 percent. This is equal to 218.75. Okay, so yeah, uh, so I'm going to divide both sides by 0 0.875. So if you divide this side by 0 0.875. You can also divide this side by 0 0.875. Okay, so let me get the calculator. So uh, cancel. So 218.75 divided by 0 0.875 equal. Oops, I did. Let me cancel. Let me do it again. 218. 0.75 divided by 0 0.875 equals 250. Okay, so this is using a calculator, so this and this gets cancelled. So X, which is your full price, is $250. Is $250. You can check your answer. Uh, let us check the answer backwards. So your discount is how much percent? 12 and a half percent. Okay, so discount is 12 and a half percent of 250. Okay, so which is one eighth of 250. One eighth of 250 is how much? So let me again use a calculator. So that is 250 divided by 8, which is 31.25. So we can check. So the answer is 31.25, and that's right, because if you go back to the example, the discount was 
Uh, that's what we checked, isn't it? 31.25. Yeah. So this is your your discount. Or you can also check like this. If you take away, so you can go like this, cancel 250, take away 31.25 is equal to 218.75.